Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Priscilla. I hope you guys are having a great day. So in this video, we are continuing with, well, actually, no, we're actually going to install SCCM into our lab that we've been setting up in these past videos. So we're finally getting to it. We're um, installing SCCM into our CCM server. Um, so yeah, it's going to be, I'm really excited about this. It feels like it's taken a while to get here. So it's really great. I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Thanks. All right, so we're in our SCCM server and we're going to go, so I have the um, Microsoft Endpoints Management Config Manager file saved on my, the network share that I have between my host and my guest. Um, but I'm gonna show you what happens when I try to do this, like when I try to run it straight from that network share. So um, I click it, I select splash and then run and it doesn't work. So, you know, I tried that a few times and it just didn't end up working. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to go ahead and copy this file, the Microsoft endpoint, um, the MEM configuration 2002. So I'm gonna cut it actually. And I'm gonna save it to my guest instead of it being on the network share. So I'm gonna save it to my documents um, folder or section folder. Um, so that way it could actually run. So if you have that issue when you're doing it, try doing that. Instead of having it on your network share or something, um, just save the file to your actual guest machine. So I did that and I open it. Now I select the splash file and it will open up now. So I was able to get it working that way. Okay, so now we have this open. First thing we're gonna do is download the required prerequisite files. So select that. And then you're going to um, create a folder for those, those prerequisites. So I'm going to do it in my documents folder. Select new folder. And this is going to be, I'm going to name it MECM prerequisites. So I'm going to go ahead and spell that right. All right, so there's a folder. I'm going to browse and I'm going to find the folder that I just created. All right, there we go, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna download those prerequisites. and speed through this one, it's editing. It's gonna take some time. All right, so that should be good. Now we're gonna go back. So here we're going to select install. Finally, we're going to install it. Okay, so we're going to select next on this page. So next, install and configure install a configuration manager primary site, which is what we're going to do. We're going to check that box. Use typical installation options for a standalone primary site. Now select next. Yeah. Do evaluation. Please invite a products, license, next, accept all these things that we have not read. Sign our life away, goodness, <laughs> next. All right, so we're going to use the previously downloaded files that we downloaded for our prerequisites. So we'll do that folder, put next, download all the prerequisite components. All right, so we're gonna name our site code now. I'm gonna do plea, because then I'm gonna do plea on. And then we're going to specify a site name that helps identify the site. Their example is Contoso headquarters site, so I'm going to do Cleon headquarters sites. You can name it, I'm assuming, whatever you want in your testing environment. Right, so I'm going to put next, next. Yes, yeah, so let's get connected to my SCCM dot plan dot com server so which is what we're in so we're not gonna change anything else we're gonna put next everything here looks good next so this is gonna check 
any issues. So this is the issue that I told you guys about earlier. Um, you're supposed to have a minimum of eight gigs saved for your SQL server, and I had a minimum of four. Um, so, you know, if you did that too, you'll probably run into this. If you didn't, then you won't. But it, it'll still let you install. So I'm just going to do begin install. I, I, I figure like in a testing environment, it's fine. If you were at an actual production environment, then you would have to meet those requirements, uh, depending on the size of your organization. If this is just for me and for you if you're doing it to test some stuff out to learn about Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Um, but I still call it CCM. But anyways, that's uh, what that was about. But now it's all going to install. Oh wait, so now, well, it says the course setup has completed. So we're all good. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this window. So we did it. Yes, I installed it finally. Okay, so we're gonna go close out of this exit. There's one more thing we have to do before we um, open up the configuration manager. So in my network share, I have the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit installation um, file. You should have this too. If you haven't, I'll include a link. We're gonna run that. Okay, next, accept these terms, next, next. Mm, yeah, I don't want to do it. Next, install. So we're going to go ahead and wait for that to install. Mm, should be done. I can't remember if I split this up or not. I might not have. But I don't think it takes that long anyway. So, okay, cool, we're done. So we're going to put finish. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and restart my machine. Continue. And all right, so we're going to log back in. And I am so excited. The long awaited moment is finally here. We're going to go to find Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Configuration Manager Console. And this is the biggest moment for me, like, because I've done this so many times. Okay, so anyways, it's gonna open up. So we're gonna wait for this to load up. The first time that I did this, I messed up and it didn't load up. because I, I did it so wrong. So I had to do it all over again. Uh, so it took me literally at least three times for me to get this right. I don't know what that says about me, but it took a lot of trial and error. Um, to get to this point when I first did it. Uh, and I was super excited when I finally got it installed because um, it just takes so long to set up the lab, to install all the prerequisites, to install everything that you need to do in order to just install SCCM or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. So yeah, I was super excited. And yeah, it opens up, so it's really great. You have this installed now on your SCCM server. You have your network set up. And, uh, you know, I was just browsing around all of it um, because there's so many things to see. But feel free to do that as well when you get to this point. Um, but, yeah, I mean, so now we finally got to this point where we have our lab set up. We have our domain controller. We have our DHCP slash NAT. Um, we have SQL Server installed. Um, we have, you know, SCCM installed. So now uh, the next thing that we have to do um, in order to complete this part of it uh, the the SCCM installation, there's post installation requirements that we have to do now. And so that's going to be my next video, um, which also I haven't actually recorded those videos yet, but they um, will either be one video or there'll be a, a series of videos as well, depending on how much is required to do that part. But yeah, I'm super excited. Like it literally took me forever or what felt like at least to me forever to get to this point. Um, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you guys also, if you want to learn more about SCCM, get a, get a chance to play around with it, to gain some new skills, um, to also create this lab environment, um, create the DHCP domain um, controller and SCCM server in order to actually, you know, gain these new skills of using virtual machines, of working with Windows Server 2019, and of um, working with SCCM. It's really exciting. I mean, I, I know I'm super excited to learn more about it and to share it with you guys. Um, I hope you guys, you know, if you want to do this, to also follow along and do it on your end. 
you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you run into any issues, for sure, let me know as well. But yeah, like, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I um, am going to be continuing the series as well with the post installation. And then also, once we get that all done, doing more stuff with SCCM, like actual collections, you know, trying to push updates or, and see how that all works, you know. I think it's really going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys can subscribe to keep tuning in. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments, suggestions, feel free to let me know. If you want to go ahead and like and subscribe, that'd be great too. I'm like repeat, I'm like rambling now. But anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.